First, at a time when public schools across the country are cutting the arts out of education, a jazz musician in Boston is finding a way to push through the noise. Lisa Stark of our partners at Education Week has this report. It's for our weekly education series, Making the Grade. Myron Parker Brass began singing at age five. She's never stopped. A classically trained mezzo-soprano, she's now raising her voice to push arts education in Boston's public schools. Finding the opportunity to teach as well as, you know, to perform has always been what keeps me sane, I think. Turn. Parker Brass is the district's arts director, a job she jumped into five years ago after two decades with the Boston Symphony. A one-time public school teacher herself, she had an ambitious plan. Our goal is that, you know, we will have 100% of our, you know, students in K through 8 receiving, you know, at least weekly arts education. They're almost there. In 2009, less than 70 percent of elementary and middle school students had a regular arts class. Today, over 90 percent do. She was right behind us, wasn't she? Taking theater, dance, music, and visual art at least once a week. So the sink here. And the percentage of high school students taking art classes has nearly tripled. Right? You see how I'm doing that? Same level. It's been a huge huge change. Alyssa Jones, who oversees the district's performing arts program, was a music teacher when Parker Brass came on board and began ramping up the arts programs. What a parade, man. What a parade. What a, what a, what a battle to win. Changing minds is pretty awesome. Changing minds about the value of arts education. Learning and working in the arts provides students the opportunity to be creative, to be innovative, to be reflective, you know, to learn how to work as a team. And it's not just students who are harmonizing. Parker Brass built a team to support her arts teachers, and she fine-tuned outside partnerships already in place. These high school students, for example, explore art with the help of the Massachusetts College of Art and Design. But the linchpin of the turnaround increased funding. Under Parker Brass, Boston increased its art spending by more than 50 percent, from 17 million to 26 million, and added millions more in outside grant funding, allowing the district to double the number of full-time art teachers. Ready? The result, an additional 14,000 students in Boston now receive arts instruction during the school week. Parker Brass isn't ready to take a bow. She's too busy with her next push, trying to convince Massachusetts State Universities to change their admission requirements to include not just academics, but a high school arts class. Our job is to make sure that our students see art, understand art, appreciate it, and if it is, and if they are passionate enough, create it. I'm Lisa Stark of Education Week, reporting for the PBS NewsHour.